In response to the U.S. embassy move and the clashes on the Gaza border, Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan is now dropping his own bombshells. He's just expelled the Israeli ambassador to Turkey, Eitan Na'e, and is, Nave, sorry, and is accusing Israel of committing terror and genocide against the Palestinian people. Israeli officials are outraged by what they're calling his hypocrisy, and the Israeli prime minister has just expelled the Turkish consul general as well. Here to dive deeper into this growing rift is former Israeli ambassador Ambassador to multiple countries, Yosef Livni. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, so what does this mean? You know, obviously, Israel and Turkey have not had very strong relations in the past couple of years. As we all know, there was a reconciliation. But now that uh, the Israeli ambassador is being essentially expelled from Turkey, what does that mean for the future of, of these relations? Is this just a political move? Well, first of all, the uh, in diplomatic life, it is, it is not uh, unheard of mm -hmm. that uh, among countries when they have political differences, strong political differences, sometimes you declare a diplomat a persona non grata, which means that he has to leave uh, uh, the country. So in this case, uh, we still don't know whether uh, Ambassador Nae was declared persona non grata and was expelled defini uh, definitively, or that he was asked to leave for a certain period of time, mm -hmm. and we'll see. Well, they, now, they I, think that, I think that what happens with Turkey is basically, uh, you have to point a finger at the Turkish president, who is very closely associated with the Muslim Brotherhood, mm -hmm. he is closely associated with Hamas and has been known to take some very radical positions, not only vis-a-vis -vis Israel, but vis-a-vis -vis other countries as well. Well, you know, Israeli ambassador was held up at the Istanbul airport and the press was called in to watch. Yeah. This was turned into, a, uh, I would say, you know, a much more public move than simply diplomatic. Yes. What is the deal here? What, what, what are these types of, you know, attacks? I, 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 think, I think this was uncalled for. The fact that you asked an ambassador to leave the country is in itself a, a, a radical move, as it were. Now, to make a, a serving ambassador who just yesterday or the day before was a welcome figure amongst the different ministries and in public life in Turkey, and suddenly you treat him as if he were almost a common criminal, I think is Erdogan's way of showing that he's angry, well, that he's mad. Yeah, well, that's where the question comes yeah. in. You know, what is the future of relations between Turkey and Israel? Is everything going to essentially devolve back to what we saw prior to this reconciliation in 2016? Well, we'll have to see, won't we? Uh, I think that various Israeli ministers spoke uh, during the day today mm -hmm and underlined that the relations between Israel and Turkey go beyond Erdogan. Mm -hmm. We have a history of strong relations that started shortly after the establishment of the state. I think that all Israelis hope that we can somehow transcend this crisis and come out on the other side and establish uh, good relations yeah. uh, as we used to have in the past. Uh, I doubt very much whether we're going to go back to the time when there were very close relations, but at least civilized relations as uh, well, you know, nations, and obviously Turkey is so. a very popular travel destination for many Israelis. Um, so there more has, so, more yeah. than just traveling destination. You have to remember that some flights that go to Asia fly over Turkish airspace. Right. So, so the, it, it's, it's more than just relationship, of tourism. Course, of yes. course. Well, Ambassador, thank you for joining us and giving us your insight on this issue. Thank you for having me.